with the meth tan at the side of my hip. With the meth tan at the side of my hip. What's up, guys? Doing a quick overview of DayZ, a mod for Arma 2. It's going to be a standalone game for PC. Uh, it's basically a zombie survival game where your main goal is to just survive. They drop you off on the beach. You start with nothing, no guns, no ammo. Basically, just a flashlight, a thing of food, or something to drink, and that's it. You don't have a map. You don't know where you're going. So it's really, it's really awesome and like kind of realistic in that, in that sense. So you have to find food, you have to find water to maintain yourself. You have to find a map so you can get your bearings and figure out where you're going, what the cities are. You can actually use the stars at night to find North Star, look at the sky, and figure out your direction that way. But it's extremely hard to play at night. I'm playing with my buddy right now, and he's about to make an awesome discovery. Oh my God! What the fuck is that? There's a bus. Bus in the woods. Bus in the woods. As you can see, finding a working vehicle is kind of a big deal, especially one that has Nobody gas has. and doesn't need to be repaired. You have to find parts to fix vehicles because they can break and you also have to find gas. But when you're oh, playing Arma 2, the zombies oh, are pretty good at seeing you. So if you look in the, the top corner, you see an ear and an eye. When you're prone, you're least visible to zombies. Uh, headshots, are obviously, you take them out in one oh. hit. And uh, you just try and stay low, out of the sight of zombies, oh, dude, and they won't swarm you. But also, as soon as you start popping off with guns, they just start swarming. So if you're in a city, there's not many zombies out here, so I'm just picking them off with headshots. Taking them down one by one to loot their bodies and see if they're carrying anything like pop or sodas or any drinks or anything like that. But you got to basically stealth around, collect uh, gear and stuff like that, and then basically we're going to meet up with Joe a little bit. Daisy does have an inventory system, so you're limited on the amount of stuff you can carry. So as you find bigger backpacks and can upgrade and hold more stuff, it's kind of crucial to make sure you're carrying the right amount of stuff and you're carrying enough food and water to make your journeys. That's why it's important to search zombie bodies, survivors, dead bodies, and any buildings like that for supplies. You make sure you can fit them in your pack and think about what you're going to take with you and what you're going to need. In a big bus. Going slow as fuck. <laughs> Going four miles per hour in the woods. Call me ZZ Top, I'm double back again. ZZ lets you switch between first and third person view, so you can kind of get your bearings better. Running around usually and looking is better in third person because it gives you a little bit more uh, area to look around, so you can kind of see what's around you if there's guys, zombies. And then first person is usually better than, better for shooting. So you can switch in between them, and it, it helps for uh, looking around, getting your bearings, seeing where enemies are. But it's it just lets you switch between, so that's a nice feature. Like and then here's a t here's a quick look at the map. As you can see, it's absolutely huge. If you look at the whole map, I mean, it's basically like a whole no, country, it's like, and it takes a long time to run like around. So finding a vehicle is extremely that helpful. Uh, I also have the watch. You can see I have the yeah. uh, compass and a GPS, which helps me locate where I am where and find out where your friends are. It's you, just like using a real map. You got the grid oh, system, right and uh, you meet up. You can, you know, say, you figure out your coordinates. Meet, try and meet up with your friends, and uh, they go yeah, no, exploring like that. Right now, he's pretty far from me, but if he, he says he just found a vehicle, he's gonna take some roads, and we're gonna try and meet up, and go find some guys or some loot. Riding around, I'm getting it. Where are you? Where are you? Now getting a vehicle in Daisy is not only really awesome, but it's also oh, dangerous. Because it makes you an instant target to other players over. and zombies. They can hear you driving around, they can hear you honking. Uh, if you go off road, if you're not in a truck or like an army oh, jeep or something, you're really slow, so you're an easy target. But it helps you get around so much easy. Not only that, but you can stash gear in the trunk. So stuff that you can't fit in your pack or something like that, you can load no up gear in the car, it. take it with you, Asian drive it around, cars, but they Kings. do have gas and they also take damage. You can damage the wheels, the engine, uh, the fuel tank, and the body, so Alicante. those are all things you could have to repair on a vehicle if you find one. Right, uh, you have to go find car down. parts, fix the car, and then you can make it drivable, but luckily we found somebody that had one already, and uh, Joe jacked it. We went, we went and met up, and now we're checking the gear and stuff, and then we're going to head out on the road, see what we can find. Uh, you can sometimes like find vehicles just out. randomly throughout the map, or sometimes you find they them stashed in the woods where people try and save them. So where having a vehicle is a huge advantage, but it also can be uh, a huge downfall. Aft. Now we start to adventure around looking for military outposts for Turn some more gear and ammo. Uh, 
we have a little bit higher end weapons, so you can only really find the military ammo for uh, military weapons at the military outposts. So we go around and hunt those, and usually one person stays back and get, guards the car if we have one because just when you think you're alone, sometimes you know, you'll know you wander across the survivor, and usually survivors are more dangerous than zombies because it's shoot first, ask questions later. Uh, the way the voice chat works in, there it is. in Daisy is... Like, if you're within range of seeing that person, then they can hear you over the microphone. If they're farther away, then they can't. So, like, when you see somebody, you yell over the mic, like, I'm friendly or don't shoot or something like that. But usually it's shoot first, ask questions later. As you can see, the map is just huge, so you don't know who could be in the forest over there sitting with a sniper rifle watching the outpost waiting to take you guys down. So it's really kill or be killed. Now they're fucking running after me. There's another one going after me, isn't there? <laughs> Jesus, close enough. We are quite a ways north at this point, so there's uh, less steel action bowl, from players light, more just garbage, zombies. Heat uh, you never underestimate uh, players being farther up north, and just when you're out in the open in a field getting some loot, once we get M24 ammo, I'll be able to fucking destroy uh, people. But down towards the, the coast where people spawn, there's uh, tons and tons of cities and stuff like that it's actually a dangerous and 24 ammo higher up and better weapons people tend to go back down to the shore to hunt for uh yeah hunt for survivors to loot, just to kill is that you become bandits daisy is all basically about survival you have one life to live and when you get killed you respawn at the shore with absolutely nothing so you do your best to try and survive as long as you can we've been alive for quite a while so we have to open our but you know, all it takes is just as hell. Other shit One in my inventory. Is just staying alive and finding supplies. Here. I did this get in here. Find the canteen and then fresh water. You can go to the fresh water and fill your canteen. Fucking scrap battle. There's the water. Other than right. that, uh, soda cans basically is your only source of liquid. So finding a canteen is really ideal because you can fill it up at any fresh water location. Um, and then also food. If, if you don't have the tools you need to get your own food, and then you're gonna have to rely on going into towns trying to find cans of beans and pasta and stuff like that. But if you manage to find a hatchet, fuck it, it won't let me drink my water. It's doing hatches, a Dave on me. Then you're basically self-sufficient because you can go out in the field, you can kill a deer or a goat or a boar or a rabbit. You can get meat from that. Yeah. Then you can chop wood from a tree, use your matches. It's doing a fucking a Dave on cook, me. Cook the food. Using uh, there you go. Meat, yeah, meat it was just you back like blood. Basically, blood is your life. You start with twelve thousand blood. If you get a shot or hit by zombies, you'll start. To the less blood you have, the harder it is to see. Your so the more blood you have, the better. The better off you can be. You can also break limbs and stuff like that, which is going to definitely hinder you. And then you need things like morphine auto injectors and things like that. If you break a leg. You're on the middle of nowhere, and you're screwed. You're going to either be crawling forever, or you're going to starve to death, unless you can find uh, a buddy or somebody to come and help you. You're pretty much done for at that point. I didn't know. It looked like it was a green circle. In Daisy, it's always very important to be aware of your surroundings because, like I said before, you never know who might be watching you. 
you know, tracking you, following you, what you're doing. So you always got to have your eye open. You always got to be watching the horizon, watching the forest. I mean, running around in a field like this is just absolutely asking to get popped because it's just wide open. You're easy to spot if you're just running around. Uh, we checked out that last deer stand, and now we're going to go check out. Uh, we're going to head back to the road and try and make a place to find a camp so we can store the vehicle and any of the loot we find. But on the way out, we actually find someone else's base who hid their tents relatively wide in the open, which is a pretty bad idea. But as you can see, we find their tents here. Uh, you can find tents in towns and stuff, and then you can use the tents, go set them up in the woods, and then you can store your gear there and kind of set up like a base. So you can store your gear. If you die, you can make it, and you make it back to your tent, and it hasn't been looted, then you can Zombie get gear. But we stumbled across someone else's base here, and we Zombie just start United. looting all their gear. Uh, they don't have very much in there, but what they do have is two ghillie suits. So now we can suit up, put our ghillie suits on, and be more camouflaged and stuff like that so we don't stick out as much. So now we both managed to score ghillie suits off their camp, which will just add more camouflage and make it easier for us to make our way through the woods or through town without getting spotted by snipers or other players or zombies. Now after looting the camp, we make our way across the survivor, which is probably one of the most exciting parts of the game. Dude, dude, dude! No, it isn't! Help me! Dead. Now he's dead. Now after you kill a survivor and Daisy with a gun, uh, it's always a good idea to check your surroundings. Where? Running out like this probably wasn't a good idea because if the guy, if this guy was Zombie meeting up with some of his friends, or he had buddies around, or there's anywhere anyone else in the vicinity, you can hear the gunshots just ring out. And if you listen to what kind of gun it is, you can tell by the sound it makes. So us running out here was kind of foolish in the middle of a field on the side of a road like this, but Jeez, we figured dude, we're dude, far you know, enough there's probably not anyone else around. And uh, whenever you shoot off your guns oh, too, it's just, just like yeah. ringing the din dinner bell for the zombies. So you gotta watch your back because oh, the zombies are, are gonna come swarming in on you. Uh, we loot this guy, but he's got nothing. He's pretty much empty. So we nick our way out to try and find a base. So that's it guys, just kind of a quick overview of what this game's about, why it's so fun, I mean, it's really endless, the stuff you can do, just trying to survive, hunting people, hunting zombies, trying to find loot, weapons, build a base, find friendlies, I mean, it's just a fun game to play, it's a free mod for PC, so like I said, you can pick up Arma 2 for pretty cheap, or they're actually making a standalone game of this that's going to be out by the end of the year, so it might be worth it just to wait, but if you want to play now, you can pick up Arma 2, check it out. Uh, it's just a blast to play, especially with friends, and nothing beats the adrenaline rush of the first time you stumble across another survivor, and if they're friendly or if they're foe, and if you're going to get popped, or if you have to make the choice to kill somebody, it's kill or be killed, it's uh, the zombie apocalypse, it's Daisy. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? There's a boss!